Yes, now we are going to discuss about the history of pharmacopoeia, right? So all of you know that uh, pharmacopoeia is something uh, standard and authorized publications related to drug and medicine, which will be there in almost all the countries and uh, regions. And uh, there will be having some formularies, monographs, uh, some procedures, test uh, and all the authenticated uh, proceedings uh, which will be there related to medicine and drug for the particular region. So let us try to understand what happened actually in the history. Uh, that's what it is there in your unit one history of pharmacopoeia when we talk about it is a book right what is pharmacopoeia first we need to understand what is pharmacopoeia actually it is a book of standard prepared by a national or regional authority right it is a book of book of a standard which is prepared by the national or it will be by the government side right or maybe the regional authority those who are authorized uh, they are going to publish that kind this kind of book uh, where actually if you see the word meaning uh, it is derived from greek words two greek word pharmacon and poia right so pharmacon means a drug and poia means to make so to make a drug what is the kind of things required um, procedure proceedings all those things so that is the uh, word meaning right now, now coming to the uh, indian pharmacopoeia let us try to understand uh, indian pharmacopoeia what it is and the uh, what is the proceeding right from the beginnings so how it came into the force and all those things so when we talk about indian pharmacopoeia history uh, first of all uh, the committee of east india company when our uh, country it was under the control of british government all uh, right so east india company they uh, they recommended one kind of publication in the 1833 right at that time it was initiated the origin was of the ip it was that time it started and later on the bengal pharmacopoeia which was published in 1844 right which was compiled with the all the indigenous remedies which is traditional remedies related to the plants and natural sources drugs it was compiled over there later on indian pharmacopoeia in 1868 right which was covered uh, uh, both the types of uh, medicines like uh, which is there in the british pharmacopoeia and uh, indigenous drugs right then uh, it's a supplement it was published in 1869 right so uh, in that uh, british pharmacopoeia was made official in india in 1885 right so after a uh, few years you can see that uh, when this particular uh, a uh, pharmacopoeia was published in 1868 and the supplement was in 1869 british car it was at that time also we were under the control of british government so british pharmacopoeia was made official in india in 1885 then uh, what happened the government appointed one committee that is that was called drug inquiry committee okay where they published a national pharmacopoeia in 1927 so almost uh, uh, 60 70 years uh, once again uh, in, uh, above when we were about to the freedom uh, that time in 1987 uh, this national pharmacopoeia it was published uh, by the particular committee was called uh, in drug inquiry committee right then after independence the real story started about the indian pharmacopoeia the different types of edition started after independence the first edition right remember this was uh, generally it will be asked uh, you should remember the first edition of indian pharmacopoeia was published in 1955 remember students this uh, year 1955 under the chairmanship of dr b n ghosh that also it is important and the supplement of this particular edition was published in 1960 after that after 11 year after the 1955 11 year the second edition of ip was published in 1966 under the chairmanship of dr b mukherjee so first two edition their year and the name of the chairmanship that is important here now afterwards we uh, the, and in this uh, second edition supplement was published in 1975 right so uh, coming to the third edition the third edi edition it was published in 1985 its supplement was published in 1989 and uh, 1991 two supplement came then fourth edition it was published in 1996 and the supplements was published uh, in the 2000 2002 2005 coming to the fifth edition it was published in 2007 and the supplements was published in 2008 then afterwards uh, a sixth edition came right after fifth sixth edition came which was published in 2010 and the supplement was published in 2012 7th edition 2014 supplements 15 16 
एट इडिशन इट वॉज केम इन द पब्लिश इन दी टू थाउजेंड एटीन एंड सप्लीमेंट्स वॉज पब्लिश इन टू थाउजेंड नाउ ऑल्सो दे इट वी आर गोइंग टू हैव द नेक्स्ट एडिशन विच इज गोइंग टू बी द नाइन्थ एडिशन विच इज गोइंग टू पब्लिश इन टू राइट सो नाउ इन दिस ईयर इट इज सपोज टू पब्लिश राइट सो दीज आर द राइट फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग एटीन थर्टी थ्री राइट एटीन सेंचुरी इट वॉज स्टार्टेड एंड टू डे वी आर इन द टू जीरो टू टू सो वी आर हैविंग द ह्यूज चेंजेस इन अवर फार्माकोपिया इन अवर कंट्री राइट फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग ड्यूरिंग द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट आफ्टर द इंडिपेंडेंस राइट सो दोज प्रोसीडिंग्स इयर्स यू शुड रिमेंबर वेन द फर्स्ट एडिशन केम सेकेंड एडिशन केम एंड बिफोर इंडिपेंडेंस वाट काइंड ऑफ नेशनल फार्माकोपिया एंड द पर्टिकुलर टाइप्स ऑफ फार्माकोपिया विद द इंडिजिनियस ड्रग्स those things it comes under the history of pharmacopoeia students so here year and edition you should remember thank you